Oh, look, I mean, I think for WeWork, you know, everyone knows the the, the failed IPO in, in 2019. So we're obviously looking to to monetize uh, and certainly go down that route. So uh, look, we, I think we'll we'll wait with bated breath to see how it plays out. But um, yeah, I think they, they needed to push on and, and try and make something happen there. Indeed, and uh, they're talking about the path to profitability, and obviously key to that is whether or not the troubles that faced it before are, but are indeed behind it. So, um, you know, we just heard a moment ago from uh, from WeWork, and and they're pretty confident that um, COVID has kind of changed the game, right? Would you agree with that? Uh, yeah, look, I, I think you know, co-working was relevant pre uh, pre pandemic. It's become more relevant now, so there's no doubt occupiers that we deal with are looking for agility, for flexibility, and co-working certainly speaks to that. I think there's always been concerns with WeWork around the, the governance and the business model. Uh, it looks like they've addressed the governance. The business model will need to continue to evolve. They're going to have to get very good relationships with, with landlords as they move forward into the future. Tim, good morning. Tim, joining this conversation. Uh, you know, what I picked from that interview was that there has been a meaningful move and increase in occupancies. Uh, when it comes to the co-shared work model. Uh, but what about rentals? Do you think that there's, there's been traction there as well? Because the trend has not looked that promising. And so where do you derive uh, the right sort of revenue mix going forward for, for a business like this? Yeah, look, that, that's a very good question because that, that's what it all comes down to for, for a group like WeWork. The, the last quarter around Asia, rents have stabilized. Uh, they're down 0.3%, I think, in the last quarter. So from where they were and the fall that they, they suffered through the pandemic, rents have been okay. We are starting to see more occupancy as a vaccine rollout gathers pace. Um, but the one thing about property markets and with WeWork is that you know, they don't like uncertainty. And until such time as we move through and really start to look at this as an endemic uh, situation, I think WeWork will continue to, uh, to be under pressure there. Uh, and making their projections and their growth uh, quite quite challenging. I think there's a you know there's a reason they haven't yet moved to profitability. Uh, 2022, I know they're saying optimistic. I think, uh, but we'll watch to see how that goes. But so much is tied to to rental growth. I think we are in a more normalised phase though. I think we are starting to get to that point. Um, so reason enough to be optimistic. But it's just how much pressure to come under that business model.